how to create noise textures in Photoshop. The key panels for this are Actions and Layers. You see the panels there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an action which I can then apply over and over again to create all kinds of different textures in Photoshop. So, create a new action, then record. Then go to Filter Menu and Render and Difference Clouds. And this uses the black and white over there in the colors. So that could be green and blue if the colors were green and blue. Then go to Layer Menu and Duplicate Layer. And it basically is going to be repeated this over and over again. Duplicate Layer, the Difference Clouds, and so on and so on. Let's keep applying it. And what you can do, you can go to the Layers panel and change the blending mode for the layer. Make it like Difference or Lighten, up to you. What you can do now, again, I can duplicate it. And then once I've done that, I'm going to run the Difference Clouds again. And you can see the lovely design there, it's been created. And I could use the Difference Clouds right at the top, but I'm just showing you Filters, Render and Difference Clouds. Okay, and you can see the design there, and it's using exactly the same as before, difference for the blending mode. So you can go to Layer and Duplicate again. Click OK, and again go to Difference Clouds, and I'm going to use the one at the top now. Duplicate. Click OK, and you can see you can just keep doing this over and over again. Now you don't have to keep the same Blending mode, you could go for maybe lighten sometimes or overlay, just change them. Just run through them. And you can see you get different designs simply by changing the blending mode. And of course, what you can also do, you don't have to use difference clouds. You could always use maybe a blur or something or oil paint. So you can make all kinds of different designs there. And again, Layer menu and duplicate layer. And of course, what you can always, with a layer, of course, you can always remove a layer if you decide later, oh, you know what, I'm going to just experiment. I just can remove it. And you can see again and again, just by doing this, going through layer and duplicate and the difference clouds. And I'm just going to go for a Gaussian blur now. So I'm just going to blur it. So, so filter menu and blurs and the Gaussian blur. But you could also use Ripple or something from Distort. Whole loads of different filters are available. Again, duplicate the layer again, and then continue. And of course, it's using currently screen for the layers. Now, all these are being recorded. All these steps are being recorded. So what you can do once you've gone through maybe creating 10, 15 layers, all these different steps, what you can then do, of course, you can Stop it, and then you can use the action. I'm going to go through that later. So again, layer menu and duplicate. And again, difference clouds again via the filter menu. And you can just keep it. And of course, at any point, of course, you can always go to file and save. So you can save the file. Or maybe save all the designs to your library, up to you. So render again and difference clouds. At some point, I'm just going to stop. And of course, what you can do, of course, you could create maybe three or four of these sort of various run throughs. And vary them with different effects, Gaussian blur, etc. And then you would have say like five or six different actions, which you can then apply in different combinations. And the great thing about Difference Cloud is because it uses the black and white or the, the foreground and background color, you can go and change those, make it green and blue, red and yellow, and then run the same action and you will get a very different result.
I quite like that design. So once you've once you got to a certain point, just go to the actions and stop it. Otherwise, you just continue forever. So just stop. That's it. So it's been recorded. You can always delete things if you don't. You can always remove entries from there as well if you don't want anything there. So you've got your action. Now you can rename it. I'm just going to go for Difference Clouds 2. Now, of course, what you can do, you can always play it. That's the key thing. So you can just run it very quickly through and you just play it and you can see rapidly in the history there that it changes and you can play it, click it again. And you can keep creating all kinds of amazing different textures simply by just playing it over and over again. And of course, what you can always do, always go to layer menu and flatten it, flatten the entire image. So you've got your time. And again, once you've done that, what you can do, go to the file, file menu and save it or maybe save it to the CC library. Of course, you can also apply effects, maybe like wave, go to the filter menu, use wave, maybe some of the other whole range of different distort features. And of course, you can apply that. And of course, what you can then do, you can go and run, maybe apply a couple of times even. So you can create some quite nice marble-like textures. And again, you can again go to the actions and run it again. And that just keeps laying and laying and lots and lots of layers now. But you can always flatten them. So each time I'm running, every time you end up with another wonderful texture. And of course you can go to the Various thing, layers, they're just layers. You can always vary them. You can go to the layers panel and just change the blending modes. Also, you can use image menu and auto tone. Maybe use the levels feature as well, image menu adjustments and levels. So you can go there, layer and adjustment layers. Or image menu adjustments and hue and saturation so you can recolor it maybe change the hue change the saturation so you can get a very nice green design but you can bring color in via the as I say, changing the foreground and background colours. If I go over there and maybe make that blue or green. Make it red and then run it. And run that action. Again, it will go through it, and you can see the end result there. So you get a much more unusual mottled design there. And again, of course, what I can do, I can go and change the colours. Don't have to keep that. So I can go and make it blue and purple, white and blue, orange, yellow. run that and you can get a very slightly uh, <laughs> horrible yellow and again once you've done that you can go to layer menu and flatten of course you can always go and apply some adjustments to modify those if you wish auto tone to create some unusual colorful designs there 
Of course, you can also go to the filter menu and apply maybe oil paint or other effects. What you can also do, you can go to the 3D menu and new mesh from layer and depth map and use maybe plane. And what that does is creates a really wonderful moon or in this case, of course, a very surreal, colourful moon surface. It does take a few seconds to process, but you can see the design there. And of course, what you can do, you can obviously change the angle, you can zoom in, you can change the lighting and so on and so on. Now you can export that as a 3D model. Of course, you can flatten that as well and just use that in your project. You can always go to the layer menu and flatten, flatten image. Okay. So once you've done that, of course, you can apply effects, go to the filter menu and apply various things or paint if you wish. Also, you can always go to image menu and auto tone. Also, you can use, of course, adjustments, maybe use levels, etc., to modify that. But you've got a beautiful three-dimensional design there. Of course, what you can also do, you can completely ignore it and just run the action again. And this time, of course, it'll be using the yellow and red there in the foreground and background. And you get, again, that very garish design there. And you can apply it multiple times. And of course, again, you can always change the colors if you don't want those colors. And each time you run it, what you can do, you can always go to file and save. This time I'm going with blue and red. Run it again. Run it again. Again, you can go and vary it. And you can see the end result there. Of course, again, at any point, you can always go to layer menu and flatten image. So it's all come because, of course, what's generated lots and lots of layers. Again, auto tone again, if you wish. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Fancy Photo, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or a like. Thank you much.